This is the PCM for Less transmission cooler install on a 2008 Saab 97X Aero. So this has the uh, 4L70E or 470LE, whatever it is, transmission and the 6 liter LS2. The only kit I could find was for the Trailblazer SS. I thought it would be the exact same thing, but it's not. Um, first thing I had to modify when mounting this, it doesn't matter which way this bracket goes. For the Trailblazer, this is a cutout for the battery cooler. Didn't matter how I put it this time. I had to mount it here. The Trailblazer has a thick bracket here, or beam, I guess you'd call it. Uh, the Saab doesn't. It's real thin tube. So what I did, uh, and it also angles. So I mounted it flush here. I drilled and tapped into the beam. Over here I spaced it off because it curves. Now at the bottom, uh, this would be almost like the Trailblazer, but the cooler is actually installed backwards here. The Trailblazer has you installing it the other way, which puts it closer to the condenser. Uh, here we had all this room to move it out, so I did that. Uh, I drilled and tapped down here and mounted this uh, the typical fittings, everything worked well. It's been driven and leak checked. I couldn't get it to go over 155 degrees and it's about 75 outside right now. Uh, the temperature sensor relocation, the ambient air, uh, I put it right here. I'm going to try it out and see how it works. I'd like it to be over further, but I didn't really have any other room. I didn't, I didn't want to put it down here. Uh, the routing of the, of the, uh, tubes here. I, I ordered the steel braided, which is, in hindsight I shouldn't have. I think I'm going to create more chafing issues than I wanted. Uh, if you mount this, you're supposed to put the long one on the driver's side and the short one on the passenger side. And that's what I ended up doing. Uh, I had to pull this cable off here. This was all in the way, so I just zip tied it down here out of the way. The 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 lines go behind this and in front of the condenser. If you come down here, you can see them merging. You got the power steering cooler right there, and uh, they, they're pretty tight. So they're zip tied, and uh, I used, they sent some, looks like 3M double back tape, but it's really not double back. It's only single sticky, but it works good for anti chafe. So I've got that everywhere. You can see where this runs beside the radiator. Get under here. And the short tube, they give you this fitting. It goes right in the GM. It works good. You pull this uh, retainer off. There's an E-clip. Pop that out and the fittings do come out as long as you pull them even. Uh, we're zip tied here. I ran it across. There were a couple different ways we could have done this. There's a lot of chafing problems here. Uh, I've got a zip tie to the other line, the uh, stock line, because you remove the other one that went here originally. You've got a zip tie there, and way up high, it's zip tied and chafe taped to the air conditioning condenser line. Uh, I chose that just to keep the transmission lines apart. I think they'll vibrate more than the tr than the uh, AC. And we'll go up top here, see what we can see. Eh. Guess you really can't see it too well. But the fitting that they give you for the long line attaches to the stock fitting. Uh, and I have that all zip tied apart. So nothing's going to rub. Uh, so all in all, there, there's quite a few changes you have to make. Uh, stuck a little tape here, the, the hood release. That's kind of ghetto. We'll see how it works. If it doesn't rub, it'll stay. If it does, I'll change it. But uh, the, the instructions that come with the kit, even if it was for a trailblazer, there's still much to be desired. So I, I don't know if they need to get a, another tech writer to take a look at it or something. But uh, if you have any questions, 
email me at nwright, N-W-R-I-G-H-T, at ptd.net.